Hey guys, uh, so welcome back to Jake's RC Addiction. I got a truck here up on the bench. This is an ECX Torment, as you know by the header. Here is the body. So I went into a local hobby town the other day. Well, actually, this was probably a couple weeks ago. Now, I might even been living there a couple weeks ago. And they had this ECX Torment down on the shelf, and it said 100 bucks on it. Take it as is. It does work. Everything works on it. I've tested it out. But brush motors aren't very reliable this is a truck i kind of plan on keeping around so i got a castle 3800 kv motor four pole and a castle esc so what we're going to do today is we're going to put the system in here the only thing i did not notice is that this thing is uh big motherfucker it's a five millimeter shaft i didn't notice that before so I think I might have actually gave away here's a 19 that might work I think they're a 48 pitch though if I'm not mistaken so I may have to hold up and put an opinion on it for now I know I have some bigger 48 pitch pinions for a 5 millimeter shaft let me see here I gotta really get my stuff all organized Well, I'm going to keep going on past that. So I'm not going to worry about opinion exactly right now until I find out what mesh or pitch this gearing is. Uh, I kind of started taking it apart as you can see. I got to grab a knife. I'm going to cut this. I actually probably need to cut it. Man, I do need to cut it. Crap. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, I already got the ESC out. Just unscrewed and whatnot. Now I'm going to take it off. And there's a spacer in there, guys. So if you take off these tires, just keep that in mind. There's a spacer in there so you don't lose it. So now, and sadly, it looks like I'm gonna have to use my hand tool to get the motor cover off because I don't have a 1.5 for my thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the motor cover off. When I'm done with that, I'll come back. Guys. So I'll remind you guys of something on these cheaper trucks. They do use a lot of Phillips head screws throughout this thing. Um, the cap was held on by Allen Hunters. Allen hinges, Allen heads, which was really weird, a one five millimeter. But then the rest of it is basically regular screws. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this truck when you get one of these. That it's gonna be a lot more of these star heads than Allen heads. All right, guys. So we got the motor in here. These motor wires are stupid long. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put them. Let me actually just go through here. They will fit. Which they will awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna go through there. They'll plug directly in right here to the ESC, which would be sweet. Uh, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some two-sided tape out. Um guys, if you use two-sided tape to tape things down, uh, make sure you use a good brand. I love this 3M stuff you can get on Amazon, it works fantastic. See if I can find my razor blade here. There it is. So I'm just gonna trim this tape evenly. That and then you just make a little cut. You can just literally peel it away, which is awesome. Probably use that for the switch. I guess I'm gonna take a pretty big chunk. There we go. And if you got enough room guys to use two pieces. Make sure you use two pieces, don't leave half of it open, if that makes sense, I guess. Uh, so the ESC isn't sitting uneven on the chassis. And then just so you guys know, I put a 23 tooth pinion in here. Um, I'm gonna knock that down probably to like an 18th to go to more like the tracks, tracks of stock VXL size. But I'm not sure what size spur gear is in here. And this truck is mainly for like my uh, my nieces and nephews, just when they come over if there's breaks or something. I kind of have a backup truck for them because it kind of sucks having to sit, have them sit and watch all day. Or they end up driving one of mine, which is fine too, but this will keep it so mine don't get as beat. Come on. 
My niece has the pretty hard one on stuff. My nephew's pretty good about it. He actually, if he plays his cards right in school, he's getting a new Max. So, he's got that to look forward to. But he's got to do good in school, and then I'm going to take him to the hobby shop and buy him a brand new Max. And just make sure you're, I don't know, you had a big piece of hair in my mouth. Just make sure your ESC is actually sticky um, and staying down. And you know what else I'm thinking? Uh, they might reach. forgot about that. I was actually going to do this backwards so these would reach. So your throttle. Awesome, this thing actually has an ox on it because it yeah, has one way. So, two options of things that I could do. Oh no, I can't stick it there. Alright, so guys, since the wires won't reach, well, actually, you know what? I think I got an extension somewhere out here to see. Let go. Just had it. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Come on, come on. I'm gonna do um, personally I'm just gonna attach everything up here and I'm gonna drag all these wires together so we'll cut another piece of two-sided tape for that So I'm going to go right to here. Right on top of the servo. And then, guys, make sure you take care of your wires. Don't let your wires just hang. Um, so. Same as little zip ties, didn't it? Dun, dun, dun. So like I'm always searching for something. I need to start uh, getting things better in here. Make sure you use one right here. So we're just gonna take all this stuff. Make sure it's all the way of everything else. Zip it right there. If you want, you can adjust your antenna, pull your antenna back. Um, they're not too tight, but it's going to hold them together. And then, uh, 3S, do I have a 2S down here? It should. Well, I put the 2 oh, duh. Now, uh, here was one of my issues. It's hard to be shoving the battery in. So 
I'm going to have to make an extension for this too, uh, which won't be a big deal, easy enough. And it's got the kind of radio batteries. It's up here, it's up here. So neat. Must be old. Looks like it's still warmer right here for some reason. Seems to happen a lot around here, guys. So we got that. So when you guys do this, make sure every time the radio is set to zero. Because your pass trims might not be your new trims, if that makes sense. You gotta plug in the motor. So red is gonna be center. what happened there so we're gonna change this This is flipped now, I guess. So let's actually let's go back the other way. So let's test this out now. So, um, the other ESC, for some reason, I couldn't get it to calibrate or work. As you've seen, it kind of took off on me. I have a bunch of Sidewinder 4s. So, I got the motor wires backwards, so let me switch that up again quick. And I'll give you guys the... I'm going to take some of these and kind of buff them out a little bit, because they're a little pretty loose, and they shouldn't be that loose. There we go. So Alright guys, so I got a problem with this ESC. Um, the problem I'm having is when I go forward to brake, it is just going right to reverse. So I don't want that, so we're going to plug in this ESC. So I'm just thinking it should be like that. Remember where you gotta turn on the damn car. Hopefully it connects. So there we go guys. Sorry, I'm gonna get really close to the camera here and show you guys this. God, I got batteries falling and shit. 
So we are going to update it to the firmware. So we're going to come in here and go any program settings. So we're going to go to software. Update firmware. Do not connect. Disconnect. Yes. So it may take a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to let that update. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, guys. I'll be right back. We're just going to go into settings here. Go basic, auto lipo, 3.2, change it to 3.3. So break them out, we're gonna go to 60. Drag break, we don't want drag break. And I can't, God, it's been a while since I've used this, so in the meantime. Motor timing, well it's not, yeah, it is sensorless. Develop curve, motor, normal, brushless. Power, start power. We're actually going to leave that low. Max power, reverse percentage, punch control. Okay, we're not going to do that. Brick curve. Um, so power, so reverse percentage will turn this down to 25. So update, I'll write the program settings now. So we're still good. Throttle's on. Okay, so that's why we're getting that because I still have these backwards. So we should remove these. So there we go. That was my issue, guys. It actually wasn't in the program. It was that I just still had those motor wires backwards. So I'll be right back. Um, actually, guys, I think that's actually going to be it for this video. Um, I think the reason I couldn't get that stock ESC, or not the stock ESC, the castle to cooperate is because I think these only work with two pole motors. Um, just like the older tracks CSCs. I could be incorrect, but I think that's what's going on. So I'm going to check into that, and I will let you guys know.